Episode one, a new day. Here we go. Squish. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play, I guess. I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. Mouse wheel or numbers one through four? Oh. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Got an You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you kill. What's that mean? I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Yeah, like how it's like a comic book. It's like art style. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. What do you even say to that? I don't know anything about his wife. Why would I say anything? Okay. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe, Maybe he was, he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. What this hell? other time... <laughs>
bounced around like a fucking sack of potatoes. Oh shit. This is a I don't like this already. I'm nervous. Bloody. Ah, uh, fuck my leg. Yeah, I'll be away. Oh, where's he at? <gasps> hey, hey, officer. Oh, shut Are up. you all right? I'm still cut back here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? It's not good, I don't like. I don't like. Oh no, I'm not good. Do I have other choices? This just doesn't sound like a good idea. I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. Huh? I don't want to control him though, I just wanted to make decisions. Pick up the gun. The officer shot. Please. Pick it up. Thank you, sir. Oh, maybe not a good idea. Looks empty. Well, that's great. For fuck's sake. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. This motherfucker is gonna turn. my life. Shit. I'm fucking serious. <gasps> I don't like this game already. It's too hard. Oh, get away from him! Officer. No! Oh. I hate it. What are you supposed to do? Get away from me! Grab it! Grab it! You fucking- I hate this dude. I hate him so hard. With a passion. Don't make me do this! Oh dear, we have zombie? Zombie leave it or not. They're dead but they really aren't but they are. Gee whiz. <laughs> Thank you for the refum for 11 months, yellow. Thank you. How are you doing today, sir? How are you feeling? Are you feeling better? Rotten, he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Way to lighten up the mood. Can we? Can you get up, motherfucker? Stand. Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? Does he look fucking dead? Oh my god. Oh, it's a person. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! A shooting? Oh, man. 
Miss Fair, I am not feeling good. Hopefully we'll be back in work tomorrow, but I seem so unlikely. Oh, I'm glad that you're at least... What is going on here? Ah! You're gonna make me run. I hate this guy. Please don't make me run. He's terrible. It's lagging. Why is it lagging? play as this dude. He's not going to survive. He's going to die. Hello. Hard. Anybody. Do you see what I mean? You literally just got fucking chased. But you're going to yell. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Okay. So I can walk. Well, I can limp. Help! Shut the fuck up! Why is he dumb? I wonder Just if anybody's home. He's not gonna survive. Feel the city breaking Hello. and everybody's shaking. Anybody Walking home? corpses do that. Stay alive. Oh help. my gosh. This is gonna be a bad idea, right? Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Not an intruder, or one of them. They're dead. No. These people might need more help than I do. Fuck, man. They got kids. That's so sad. Sad. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, I walk through it. <laughs> Why is he so stupid? I mean, at least you smell like it now, right? Isn't that like supposed to help you? But it doesn't probably help you right now, right? It's gonna be a bad thing. Mm, the Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Okay, why didn't she speak in it? What's that? What's that? No? I can't take any of this stuff? What's that? <sighs> Just a random cup of water sitting on the side of the sink. Okay. This is. This. What's this? How can I touch the what? Why can't I touch the walkie? Oh, okay. What's that beeping? The walkie-talkie that you see put in your pocket. It's in your pocket. Why can't I touch it? Why? Why can't I touch it? Hmm. Let's not be stupid. And what's this? 
There are three new messages. Maybe there's something on there. Maybe there's something on there. Really? Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not he feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. That sucks. Well, that's that little girl. Right? Daddy? Huh? Huh? Hello? Not through you Daddy. You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> we know where her parents are. Hello? Did they get you? I I'm sorry. I'm here. Really? That's such an insensitive your question. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Oh, the place isn't 9 That's actually easy to remember. Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can yeah. see you through the window. Ah! Why? I hate this game. E. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Again! 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 Don't stop! Whew. Adventures in babysitting. She brings up a very good point. Zombie apocalypse Hi happens. There. Why not have humanity re relocate to the second floor? That's a good point. Did Just you kill it? Terrors, build bladders. I don't know. I, I think don't so. know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. 
What should we do now? I don't want to adopt a child. Get out of here once the sun goes down. Is that a good idea? I don't know, man. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Yeah. Let's go. Stay close to me. Oh, man. This game is stressful. It's gonna make me do things and stuff. Where are you going, little girl? I'm so. Look at I lamp. Don't know where I'm going. He's oh, human. I ain't oh, never getting that. home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. At least there's more humans. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Why are we having these conversations next to these guys? Are they gonna be friendly or are they gonna be assholes? Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're, we're not gonna fine. hurt you. Yeah. I mean, we're just bloody. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chump. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her babysitter. Her <laughs> parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. He's gotta come. He's gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Yeah, it seems like it's moving along pretty like nicely. Achievement unlocked in your charge. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. <clears throat> I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. 
You've brought a couple guests. We, uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. Damn. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. Why are they so questionable? Sean, like, should I have just left her there? I didn't want to you adopt a child. On the porch like, go see what I have. should I have just left her? I guess I should have just left her. Right? Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Is this the, like... How'd this happen? It's not the same Herschel, is it? I don't even remember. It's crazy back there in the city. I don't, I, it must too be. Fast to answer. What type of danger has the girl seen? Um, the kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Mm -hmm. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine you what you've been through. You should have murdered her. It would be the humane um, thing. Since looking she after her until we uh, it's true. find her parents. True. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. What? Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the He's barn can help so out in the morning. We got to do it. Chill. Really. I already said it's just okay. High. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better Dead tomorrow. Dead people walking and no panic. If your leg gets hot or the no swelling panic. doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with it's an infection. Fine. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <clears throat> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making us. So suppose. that's not true though. Oh, you have an infection? We'll just redress it and it'll be fine. You need medicine. All right, then. It smells like duty. <laughs> yeah, it does smell like duty. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? I'll say it. Pretty far. Oh, okay. All right, we should have killed her. That way we don't have to bear through these sad <laughs> moments. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Your wife would die. She did. He's traumatized. Sag.